Hello everyone once again. So here we are, another live stream for today. And this time we are going to check something what arrived to me just a few hours ago. As you can see, this is a new release from Miniard. It is molded in 135 scale and it copies so called Liefer uh, Wagen, if I am <laughs> reading it right, tip. 170V, so it's German beer delivery car, and as you can guess, it is based on the previous release from the same brand in the same scale. It was the um, normal passenger car type 170, and now we have a chance to copy the delivery car, which is different with its rear section, so it means we get some new parts. And also it might be handy for an interesting diorama scene. I mean, if you're not into some military uh, projects, then this might be an interesting deviation from all those tanks, aircraft and other stuff. And it is molded in 135 scale, so it means you can use some figurines with this without any extra issues. So, first of all, box size is typical for the car kits from Miniard. Here you can see comparison with my hand. It's not that big, but still size is noticeable. We have quite nice box art here. And then here we have some features. So there are decals list, uh, decals sheet for three marking options, P parts included, four crates with beer bottles, which are depicted here. And of course it's written that this is not a toy. Then here on this side we have some information about the manufacturer, also address of the manufacturer if you would like to visit them. And three marking options can be seen here. So those are quite simple ones, but of course nobody stops you from choosing something different because, I mean, this is more or less generic uh, subject, so if you have some reference photos or something uh, else which will let you build something or make the painting different from what we have here included, then you are free to go. The box structure is uh, the top loaded box, so we are going to leave this top section. And here is what we have inside. So all frames are packed into the same plastic bag and it means that uh, you will have to be careful while opening all this stuff. As you can see, single plastic bag. And then on the bottom we have assembly manual and that's pretty much all. Of course we will check manual a bit later. I would like to start with plastic parts. Plastic bag is sealed here, so just give me a second. In the meantime, let me remind you that you can support us financially. It is quite simple because we have the donate button on our website and of course you will decide how much you will get for new photo and video equipment. But be sure that all this stuff you send it will be used in order to buy a new camera, new lenses or maybe new kits which we will be reviewing together. Okay, so I'm taking out all this stuff from the plastic bag. So here we have separate plastic bag with decals, we will check it clo closer later. Here we have envelope with P parts, again it will be later. I would like to start with this thing. So this is first grey plastic sprue and we can zoom in a bit. So that you can see it in a closer view let's say. So what do we have here? Here we have the body panels and I guess this is actually the new sprue because here we have those parts for the van modification or van version of this vehicle. As you can see those are separate panels so you have to assemble them all together and then you will be good to go. And if we flip over this plastic sprue then here inside you can see some guiding elements which will help you with proper alignment of those parts together. Molding quality looks really good, so I don't think you have any issues with those uh, parts. Next we have another plastic sprue. This one comes from the uh, passenger car version of this vehicle. Why? Because here we have, for example, uh, several rows of the seats. This is the second row of the passenger seat. Also here we have another, let's say, cockpit floor or vehicle floor, which is designated for use with the saloon version. Here we have the mainframe, I guess this one will be used for the van as well. And the same can be said about all those technical parts, it means suspension, engine, for example here we have dashboard, and also exhaust here, or steering wheel, the front radiator panel, and even those cooling panels which are present here. And if we flip it over once again, 
here you can see that for example steering wheel has this nice texture which was present on the real part which is really cool because you get it as a standard out of the box plastic detailing and you don't have to resort for some resin parts or get some extra stuff for this next we have a quite small plastic sprue this one is dedicated to wheel parts obviously and here we have the um, wheel parts which should be combined together so one wheel will be glued out of several parts uh, so basically you connect all those discs together why it was done in order to uh, get the detailing on the walls on the tire walls so hate it or love it but you have to do it this way and here inside you can see the guiding pins which will help you with proper alignment of these parts together okay next we have two absolutely identical plastic frames these ones are dedicated to the internal components as well as wheels road wheels so we are going to check only one because as i said it's absolutely similar set of parts so again we have the same wheels design so it means you have to combine all those discs together and wheel rim is separate so you can paint it without any headache and that's really cool because you won't have to resort for the masks here we have front seats also some parts for the headlamps and some of the external detailing parts if we flip it over once again here we have guiding pins which should come handy for the alignment okay next we have one oops two give me a second because one box tries to fall away okay so here we have three and four so four brown plastic sprues this will be handy for the boxes for the boxes with beer bottles and usually i mean not usually but you can buy those um, parts as a separate kit but here it is included into the boxing which is really a nice bonus it might be handy for an interesting diorama and another cool bonus is that we have bottles so here we have one two three and four plastic sprues these are colored plastic sprues which copy the glass bottles glass beer bottles obviously this is a light beer and this is a dark beer and i wonder if there are any decals for the um tags on the bottles let's see but again it's really cool to have these bottles included well at least one can be placed for example inside car and it will add some visual interest to overall build here we have final plastic sprue um actually this is a gray plastic sprue here next we have clear plastic frame so here we have separate doors also door panels are molded separate from those doors obviously you won't have to use the rear doors here you can see engine parts a lot of small parts which will be used for the uh, technical elements and if you flip it over here you can see that we have some special guiding tabs for the door cards so that you can position them in the right place okay next as you remember we have the small envelope i'm going to open it and here we have small p thread it's unpainted p thread and it features all necessary parts for external and internal detailing note that even radiator mesh will be replicated with p parts so be ready for this it will be a bit tricky task but final result will be worth it so um, be ready to spend some time with it next we have sealed plastic bag with decals and clear plastic frame so again i will need to use scissors in order to, uh, to open it just give me a second okay we remove all the garbage so first of all we have clear plastic frame molding quality looks really fine i don't have any issues with this we can zoom in so that you can see it here we have all necessary glasses for this car side glasses prone glass rear glass everything is here but you will have to cut masks because masks are not included and obviously there are no templates for cutting masks so be ready for this it will be a bit tricky to have them all covered with some uh, masks um, in order to paint whole model carefully next here we have the decals sheet 
This one comes from Decograph as usual. We have uh, all necessary symbols for three marking options as you remember. Printing quality looks really good and I hope it will be easy to apply those decals on the model. Nevertheless, that's not all because we also have the assembly manual here. So let's zoom out a bit. Just like this, I think. So we have assembly manual, which is printed in form of large brochure. Um, we have short list of the main features for this kit. Then we flip over the page and here we have two marking options. This vehicle comes from Mainburg, Germany 30 and 40s. Then we have Zwickau, Germany 30 and 40s. And next we have parts map here. Everything starts or the assembly process starts with engine. Note that here you have to use your own metal wire in order to add it to the engine. So be ready for this. I would recommend some copper wire for easier installation. Next, we continue with main chassis and installation of the drivetrain. Here you install the exhaust and then install all this stuff on this um, vehicle floor panel. Here you install the pedals, by the way. Next, we continue with the front firewall. Here you install the front seat. Then we have the uh, separate wall, which will be separating the rear compartment from the front. Here you can see how wheel is assembled. So in total there are one, two, three, four, five, six parts to combine together in order to get one wheel. We install wheels into the place obviously. Note that here you have to combine the P part together with plastic part in order to get the um, ready to be installed the steering wheel. Here you um, place the panels, the body panels which are molded separately. I'm a bit confused because I'm looking how they will be connected. Here we have the doors and note that manufacturer features or shows that you can assemble those doors in open or closed position and the same is related to the front doors. That's really cool. Next we have the engine and again bonnet or engine compartment. Here you can assemble bonnet with open uh, panels or with closed panels. Again, that's really cool because you have whole engine detailed out of the box and it would be shame just to cover it with the bonnet panels. Here we continue with the side view mirrors. We assemble boxes, install all the beer bottles and here you can see the third marking option. This one comes from Walterbach, Germany 40s. And next we have the Moroccan guide for the beer boxes and beer bottles. Here you can see the paints chart. We also have the short list of other kits from the same manufacturer. Note that here we have this type 170V saloon with four doors. We reviewed it on our YouTube channel. You can find video easily just by typing the number of this kit. And then on the last page we have some other kits which might be handy with this today's model. Uh, in order to build an interesting diorama. As I said before, this kit should be already available for purchase on Modelimex web shop, for example. They have it for sure. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button because it will help us greatly. There is also subscribe button so that you won't miss any new video. And I will see you in the next video release as usual. Bye.